Hi everybody, Tay here, Lift Dark Studios. Tomorrow I'm being visited by the lovely Haley Henson from WFXR, a local news uh, station. Really stoked Haley's gonna come over here and do a story on me and Lift Dark Studios. But if there was one thing I learned at Black Dog, it's that when you have people come check out your fabrication shop, it's super helpful to have some kind of project ongoing because it helps like contextualize what it is that you do. My goal is to have some sort of table base at least begun by the time she gets here. Uh, and the table base is gonna be for the conference table that I'd like to put in the open spot in the middle of the office area here. So thinking like 40 by seven, seven feet long, 40 inches wide, probably 30 inches tall. There is this sort of idea design style that I've been wanting to make a table base within. And with the plasma cutter, this vintage industrial style becomes a lot easier. The idea is that there are two table legs probably connected by a stretcher. I got 45 minutes until I gotta go meet uh, someone to do a podcast. Uh, Usually playing alone. Yeah. Um, your chair just broke. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so I am going to sketch something and attempt to design something. Or get the design started. Okay, so what we're gonna do is export these sketches as DXFs. We'll go in here and we'll say leg body, and then we'll go to this plate here, save that as a DXF, and that is gonna be stretcher plate. And then we'll open up in route. So we got 31 by 48.5. 1875. So let's import the leg body. And let's put that there. That's not going to work very well, is it? I can get one out of that. Let me go, go back and measure because that piece was not a perfect square. It actually had this dog leg that came out this way. So I wonder if there's something I could do there. I got 30 that way, which is good. 48 that way. No, it's not helping. <laughs> not, not exactly helping. So right now I'm running it through a simulation just to make sure that everything is right and that there's no duplicate geometry, which I've had an issue with in the past. But it's just going to wander between all the shapes and act like it's cutting them out. This is the exact tool path that the machine will take, so if there's going to be any issues, I should be able to catch it here. Had someone reach out to me recently and let me know that I was cutting in the wrong direction in a past video. I've since learned that the right side of the cut is the most accurate, so turns out the default settings are correct. You should do a climb cut, not a conventional cut. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Just know that I fixed it. Okay, so I got the file loaded in the computer. About to zero the torch and hit go. I will be babysitting it as we go, but time to cut. So there it is, the main piece is cut out. So now we gotta pull it out of there, dry it off, and uh, clean it up, and then we'll start wrapping it in flat bar and uh, make it into an actual leg. 
kind of cool. I do say so myself. I dig it. Let's go clean it up. All right, so here's the deal. It is 8.30 and I have made this. <laughs> These plates I cut out, they have the same hole pattern as these holes. <clears throat> so that will be the stretcher. So there'll be a piece of two by three steel tubing with one of these plates on each end that will bolt to each of the legs. So that's all right. I mean, building a custom metal dining table in the span of like six hours is a pretty ridiculous goal anyway. So I guess what I'm getting at is we'll pick this up in the morning, heading to steel services first thing to try to get this table built for primetime news time. See you then. Call Steel Services. Gotcha. All right. Um, damn, I guess I gotta come back at eight. All right, man. Well, thanks. All right, so update. Uh, guy stopped me as he was showing up to work. Nice guy named Doug. And he said, you know, I wrote down my order on a piece of paper and gave it to him. And he said, uh, yeah, the salespeople are out till eight, but usually he said he think he thinks he'll be able to help me out before that. So I gave him my order. He ran inside. He's gonna do some stuff, see if he can pull some strings. So hopefully we'll get the steel here. He said come back at like 7:45. So I gotta burn. I gotta burn 45 minutes. So I am gonna take this opportunity to drive up to the star. So here in Roanoke, Virginia, we've got a giant illuminated star on the top of Mill Mountain and uh, the sun is just coming up over the mountains so I will be able to show you guys a Southwest Virginia sunrise look at that sunrise look at it would you just look at it There's the star, pretty iconic. It's kind of our claim to fame, you know? We got a big light up star on the top of a mountain. There it is. One thing I always forget is that technically, it is the world's largest man-made star, erected in 1949. Here's Roanoke. Our little town. Oh man, it's cold. It's like 25 degrees right now. Start making my way back to steel services. Figure this would be a good excuse for a little field trip. Bye Rona. Let's go pick up some metal. Here's the rundown. Um, Back at the shop, unloading the steel from the truck. Got the plasma table empty. We're gonna go ahead and get this sheet on the table so that that's ready. And then I'm gonna start cutting flat bar to start wrapping the other table base to get that part further along and start making a stretcher. So, cue the montage. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, it's 9.30 almost. Haley will be here at 10. And my goal is to have at least one of these legs pretty close to done. I'm probably not going to get there. But 
it's okay. The, the point was to have something in process when the news gets here, that way it looks like we're doing something. <laughs> so uh, I've wrapped this uh, leg flange in two inch flat bar and uh, I'm using clamps and just brute force to get it to curve like this. To get it to curve the rest of the way, we'll have to use the oxyacetylene torch and some fire. But uh, yeah, just clamping and tacking, trying to get everything located and happy. And uh, yeah. and contracts and there's all kinds of weird stuff. <sighs> Worked out so good. So this is kind of a prototype, you know, for a sort of line of this type of furniture. So I'm using this one to know kind of how long it takes, you know, how many hours go into certain projects, ways that I could do this better. There are definitely tools and benders I could invest in to make that sort of metal forming a lot easier, but it's hard to replace old fire and a hammer, you know? She's filming a cool piece uh, locally, but we're in the middle of this conference table build. So we're about to cut out the second leg uh, and we'll bring it over to the table and lock it up. So we don't know if it's going to be cool yet. So. <laughs> Contact. see the base that I'm actually working on. So this is the piece we just cut out and then goes there. And this is the one I've been working on already. So I've taken some of this flat material and I've wrapped this flange with it to kind of give it a little bit of dimension and it makes it stronger too. And so they'll be bolted together and then a uh, big tabletop will go up here and this will be my new conference table for the office. Got that on there, using that one. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> oh, Walker's got a lot of that. I feel like now I just want to embarrass you because you're like the cool kid. Please. <laughs> Tay Whiteside grew up with a strong work ethic. He's one of those humble guys where you ask yourself, what can't he do? A problem solver with 15 years of welding experience is ready to take your call. And uh, I'm lucky enough to be working with one of my best friends, Walker here, who's my head media overlord. And speaking of media, Tay and Walker are Stop sharing fabrication right projects uh, and builds on YouTube. Make it kind of like what you would say on your YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, all right. So um, yeah, that's pretty much, a, that's a good stopping point for right now. Uh, I've got some more work to do. You saw me do this side, so I'll have to do the other side. Uh, but we'll just do all that and next episode and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.